What's going on everybody? This is Travis from Candid at the Movies and today I will be reviewing the brand new horror film known as The Strangers Chapter One. This movie is based off of the 2008 original film The Strangers and its sequel but it's for some odd reason becoming its own standalone trilogy. It's not connected to the original one and it's also a, a reboot but not a reboot. It's a little strange. It's hard to explain. But this is the first chapter in this story, and it does star Madeline Petch and Froy Gutierrez. I can honestly say that this is not good. I don't think this movie really understood what they were trying to do. The basis of this story is a couple that gets stranded in Portland, Oregon, and they are in this Airbnb. They have these three strangers that are trying to break in and attack them. And that's the story. It's basically, like I stated, following the same plot of the first movie, just a little bit more updated since that one was in 2008. This was in 2024. But the weird thing is this movie felt like it lost the premise of The Strangers. Like, it's just about three random people that are breaking into a house with no reason. But for some odd reason, it felt like they were wanting to just include all of the horror tropes jump scares out of nowhere, characters being dumb. You literally had a character with a shotgun while people were trying to ram his truck and he didn't use the gun. Like, it was really odd what they were trying to do. Like, for this to be the introduction into your new series, it did not get me hype about this at all. It made me more so just want to watch the original film, even the 80s synth-inspired second film, which was just... It was a little odd, but people liked it. I think that this film really missed. I The characters were really wooden. Even, even the people that we're supposed to root for, you really didn't care for. They were just very cut and paste. A lot of just odd choices that were done. Even the main villains, Dollface, Scarecrow Guy, and the pinup girl. Honestly, they, you know, they're not really... They're the faces of the franchise, but you really did not care. I can honestly say it was not many people in my theater. I guess a lot of people on social media, people were hyping this up like it was going to be the greatest thing. But from the turnout, it really wasn't that great. If you're wanting to just watch this movie, I'd say just watch the original one with Scott Speedman and Liv Tyler. It's a better choice. I don't know why, but critics have critically said this is a horrible movie. Audience scores have said it's horrible. But you're going to see a weird spatter of people online acting like this is the greatest film that's came out this year. It is not. I don't know if people just have a very low standard of what they want in horror or if people just don't want to admit something's bad. I think we have that in every genre of movie. A lot of people just want to act like something's great or something's good instead of just taking the L and saying, hey, this is not great. It's not good. It's not going to hurt you to say a movie is bad. I've seen a lot of bad movies. I've seen a lot of movies that people thought were good and I thought it was horrible. So having a difference of opinion is a good thing. If you like, if you truly like this movie, cool. All, all points to you, but this movie's not good. It is a D minus in my book. I'm not excited about the chapter two that's supposed to come out this fall. And I know chapter three is supposed to come out sometime next year. Kind of hoping like the Exorcist this gets canceled because I don't want to watch them. But hey, if you like The Strangers, comment below. Let me know if you feel like this one stacks up to the original or the sequel. I'd love to hear what everybody thinks about this. But like I stated, this is Travis from Canada at the Movies. Appreciate you watching this video. Leave us a like, leave us a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will catch you all later. Peace.